Hello friends, what will help us cope successfully with the burden and difficulty of this world and even thrive? My name is Orna Ben Shoshan and I am a teacher of Kabbalah and spirituality. In this teaching you will receive a prescription that will ease your everyday hardship here in the material world, the burden of livelihood and will open the channels of abundance. The Kabbalah provides us with many spiritual and practical tools that can help us cope better and succeed in all our day-to-day -day endeavors. The spiritual tools I'm talking about are the holy names of Angel Metatron. Who is Angel Metatron? He is the chief angel who leads and controls all the armies of angels in the higher worlds. The most senior angel in the world of creation, the origin of all angels. In Jewish sources, he is called the minister of the interior. Metatron is the messenger and delegate of God who is responsible for all of humanity and for many actions that take place in the material world. Seventy names have been given to him against the seventy languages in the world. The names of Metatron are forces that come from the spiritual realms and vibrate at high frequencies. Each name embodies a specific power or angel. Whoever connects to them properly can touch supreme powers and shed many lights on himself. These are divine names that accelerate our spiritual development and can change our reality in every area of life. We learn about the names of Metatron and their meanings in the Book of Desire. The Book of Desire is an ancient Kabbalistic scripture written in the 13th century AD by Rabbi Abraham Abu Afia, who was one of the most prominent Kabbalists in the field of ecstatic Kabbalah and prophetic Kabbalah. The Book of Desire describes many of the traits and functions of the Minister of the Interior, according to the names given to him. Each one of the root names of Metatron has a number of branches, names whose gematric value is equal to the root name, and each branch describes one of the attributes or actions of Metatron. Let's talk about the 60th name of Metatron, which is Titrasia. This root name has five branch names stemming from it, and one of them is the name Harovetz, Hey Resh Vav Bet Tzadi. Note that the names of Metatron are written with quote marks, so they are not read as real names. Every name is considered an angel or an active force. And, if we express or write it without the quote marks, it is considered as if we swore an angel by calling his name. This we must avoid. The name Harovetz helps a person to succeed in his physical actions and to withstand the burden that the material world places on him. It alleviates the difficulties of earning a living by activating the private supervision. And what does that mean? What can hinder the inspiration of private supervision over men? And does every person automatically receives help from heaven? Most humans tend to attribute their material success to themselves. A person who lives 
in the material world who strives and struggles and finally achieves usually attributes his success to his credit, as written in Deuteronomy 8.17. My power and the strength of my hands have produced this wealth for me. Many people in our world believe that only thanks to their own efforts they have been able to succeed in making a living or in any other area of life, without any divine help. And what's wrong with this approach? Shouldn't we give ourselves a pat on the back sometimes? The problem is that this way of thinking can lead to failure. When we think and speak this way, we deny the fact that all the abundance in the world actually comes from the Creator. It's true, we invested consistent initiative and effort, shed blood, sweat and tears, but without divine support our efforts could have ended in failure. And why? Because we must understand that we cannot rely on our limited powers. When we do not recognize the divine power that watches over us and supports us at every step, we are in fact alone in the battle. When we feel alone with our struggles, no help will come. This is not a punishment from heaven. But the fact is that a supportive force that we do not recognize that exists simply will not come to our aid. And here we can be helped by the holy name Titrasia and the name that stems of it Haovetz. It allows us to summon the private providence, the help from heaven, when we experience difficulties in earning a living or in any other material issues. And how do we implement these names? Since the right to swear angels by their names is reserved only for experienced Kabbalists, we can turn to the Creator in prayer and ask that He will activate the power of the names of Metatron for our benefit. Before we mention these holy names in prayer, we must sanctify and purify ourselves. This can be done through immersion in the mikveh or cleansing meditation. After we have cleansed ourselves of all negative thoughts, selfish desires and impure intentions, we recite the prayer in this wording. You can repeat the words with me in your heart with great intention. Creator of all that exists, I hereby request that you order the Minister of the Interior, Metatron, through his holy name, Titrasya, and the name that stems from it, Haovetz, to alleviate my burden of earning a living and coping with the hardship of the material world, to open the channels of abundance for me, for my family members, and for all the people dear to me. Please entrust us with your private supervision to support all of our daily actions. I ask that my request will be fulfilled from holiness to holiness for the sake of your name and for my highest good. And by the power of the great minister Metatron, please do this soon. Amen. And at the end, add, thank you, it is done, it is done, it is done. It is recommended to carry this prayer only when you feel exhausted, helpless, worn out, and truly desperate, and not to escape from coping or out of a desire to get rich easily. Otherwise, it will just not work. There are hundreds of names 
attributed to Metatron that we can implement to help us grow and thrive, and more proven ways to work with them. If you are curious to learn about the subject of angels, the way the Kabbalah sees them, and widen your knowledge on the subject of Metatron and his names, you are welcome to explore my online course, Angels by the Kabbalah and the Holy Names of Metatron on Udemy. The link to the course appears below this video. I will be happy if you share this knowledge with others because it can ease the path for many people. So, thank you for being with me and I will see you in the next teaching.